so oh, so I thought we might just do as we always do we just kind of orientate to the space so just letting the eyes move freely and let them lead the head as you just sort of look around the space that you're in this morning taking in color light the entrances and the exits and the spaces behind you and then just fluttering opening and closing the eyes as you just let the head just rest in a comfortable place you might choose to start by leaning back into the chair and to rest the arms either with the palms up or the palms down or you might be happy to self-support the spine straight away not that one's better than another, but just that it meets your energetic feeling in the body this morning, whether you feel that you'd rather start a little bit slow and a little bit gentle. I'm gonna stay just sitting to the side for a moment. And I'm gonna lean back into my chair. And then we're just gonna take some simple little grounding movements, a little bit different potentially to normal. But first of all, I'm just lifting my heels up. I know they're slightly out of view, for which I apologize. I'm just lifting my heels up and just dropping them on the floor. And you could do one and then the other or both together. Just feeling the weight of the heel meet the floor. And as you do that, let that movement be in a rhythm that is comfortable for you. A couple more times, just this heel dropping down into the floor. And then rest for a moment. Lift up the top of the foot. So lift up the top of the foot and then release and drop it down onto the floor. So I've just lifted my foot up so you could see the movement. But the foot would actually be on the ground making this movement. So I'm going to lift the toes and drop the toes. And again, just find a rhythm. And by that, I mean a speed of the movement that you find enjoyable this morning. Once or twice more. I'm going to let a deep breath. I'm going to turn back to the front. Keeping the hands wherever feels comfortable for you. Just going to bring a little rhythm into the side body. And I'm just going to shift my body from side to side. As I do this, I can feel the weight shift across my bottom, through the pelvis. And again, just finding a little rhythm. So I'm going to self-support my spine now as I do this. It feels a bit more comfortable for me. See what feels more comfortable to you. This swaying movement through the center of the body as I sway to the left, sway to the right. I'm using my hand just to demonstrate that. And you can feel the weight shift through the pelvis that's sitting on this chair, on this seat. Good. And then let the bottom come to rest and feel that the pelvis, the bottom really is now neutral, is central. Feel the feet on the floor, feel the bottom on the chair. Take the hands and bring them up onto the body, wherever you feel comfortable for them to be. You may prefer to bring them across the body to actually give yourself a bit of a cuddle. Or you might like to have one on the belly, and one on the chest, to see what feels more comfortable for you for a moment. Give a little stroke to where the hands are meeting. Be circular, it could be a down stroking action. And then we're gonna create a little rhythm through the hands and I'm gonna come a little closer to the screen in case it's not obvious enough so I'm just going to take a little bit of rhythm as I just tap one side to the other and we just want to find that slow calming rhythm that Anne was speaking to and as you tap the hands particularly if you've got the arms across the chest or resting onto the front of the body you might be able to feel the breath at this point if you want to, you could also bring in this presence of breath. Maybe your breath takes a tap with each hand to come in and a tap with each hand to 
go out? Could the rhythm meet the rhythm of the breath? One more time to each side, particularly if you've crossed the hands across the body, the bilateral movement can be really useful for calming the mind, relaxing the hands. Let's bring the head or the attention up into the head and find a little rhythm as you sway the head now from side to side. And you may find that this rhythm is slower or faster and other rhythms you were drawn to as you moved your awareness up to the body. And if you're comfortable too, you could notice the breathing again as you move the head. You might choose to slow it right down. back to center and just take a moment just to notice how that small just meeting body on body using the hands moving through the midline shifting the way it helps to ground us into this body experience here and now in the moment and we're going to create some sound this morning we're going to create an mm sound through the mouth if sound work doesn't work for you and you don't like to hear it you could Pause the sound for a moment and just stay with the breath work if that's more comfortable. Otherwise, we're going to make a humming sound and we're going to make it for a few minutes. Please don't feel that you have to breathe out for as long as me or you have to keep in rhythm with my sound. You can just keep making the sound, hearing my sound as well, so that there's this constant sort of flow of sound between myself and between the sound that you're choosing to make. So we're going to breathe in through the nose. I'll give you a demonstration. And then light touch to the lips. And be very present to the sensation around the lips as you create the sound. And anywhere else you can feel the sound in your body. You're invited to touch the hands onto the body if you would like to, to see where you can feel the sound vibrating. So we'll start when you feel ready, breathing in through the nose. more times as you just let my voice move through your space maybe you continue to make that humming sound and just noticing quality of mind noticing a sense of being in body as you hear the sound as you maybe trace the sound with your hands the vibration through the body and then on the next breath out just releasing that sound now that humming sound so humming is a really good way to stimulate this vagus nerve 
And in particular, if you place the hands around the throat, as you make it, you can feel the vibration quite strongly through the throat area. Now that we've really arrived together and we've made some sound, let's invite in some movement into the body. And as we do that, let's call in this quality of calmness so that the movement might embody feeling of calm. So before we take movement, just invite the mind to conjure up an image of a place or a thing that you feel brings you a great sense of calm, a place where you feel calm, a thing that you do where you feel calm. Let that picture come to mind. It may be more of a color, maybe a memory or an imagination and just hold it lightly in your attention for a few moments. And just see how inviting an awareness of memory or an imagination of feeling calm might in this moment translate into an actual experience in the body. Imagining calm in pictures or just the word of calm itself, the pictures are hard. And imagining how it might be to feel really calm in the body, how smooth and effortless the breath would be, how soft and comfortable the muscles would be, and how there would be this slowness this spaciousness of mind. And let's keep that connection to those pictures or word calm as we begin to move, as if the movement could take on that quality of calmness itself. I'm gonna to sit to the side as I drop my chin towards my chest. And just give my head a little swing from side to side. I'm going to make a figure of eight now with my chin. So I'm going to move my chin as if I had a pencil on my chin and I was drawing an eight from the earth. I'm self supporting with the spine. And I've got a sense that I'm really resting the weight of the spine, not into the front of the pelvis, not into the back of the pelvis really into that central point. So I can really feel my sit bones in deep contact with the chair. As I slowly articulate the joints of the neck by moving the head in this shape. A couple more times. I'm gonna let the head come to I'm going to lift my chin up towards the sky as I lift my chin. I can open my throat and my chest and my face as much towards the sky as I would like as if I were lifting through the front body. And I'm just going to bring my chin deeply in towards my chest and look down towards the belly. And you might notice as we repeat that movement, lifting the chin and the face towards the sky, and then bringing the chin towards the chest. But I'm not currently letting my upper back round. I'm trying to isolate the movement as best I can in the neck. I move to this calm rhythm. And you can stay with that picture of that place or that thing that brings you a sense of calm as we continue to move. Bring the head to stationary and look over the right shoulder and look over the left shoulder. And just move the head from side to side. Making sure that you're not taking the head back as you look from side to side. You're really looking to keep the chin parallel to the ground and you're just seeing what movement you can get through the neck as it turns. Yeah, head to side. <laughs> Just my words then. Happens a lot this week. 
and then come back to center and let's just begin to roll the shoulders let's take some really big shoulder rolls these always feel really good I think so anyway you might let your hands rest on your legs so that as you move your shoulders your hands just naturally get dragged along the legs and then back and we're looking to get as much lift as we can up through the shoulders. And we're gonna make a ha huh sound as we drop the shoulders. So we're gonna lift and squeeze and breathe in. And ha, huh. lift and squeeze and breathe in. Huh. Yeah, just carrying on in your own speed. Huh. And then we're gonna squeeze the shoulders back today. So knowing that this really expands the chest, so you decide how much to squeeze. We're going to squeeze the shoulders back, come into a little back bend. And as we release, we're going to make that <sighs> and squeeze as we breathe in. <sighs> and squeeze as we breathe in. <sighs> really nice and relaxed. And then let's walk the shoulders. So roll one shoulder up and back and then the other. So we're doing one shoulder at a time. Yeah, that's it, Anne. Yeah, lovely. And if the elbow wants to get involved, the elbow can absolutely get involved. And it's a bit difficult if you've got a chair that's got arms, you might find that you have a bit more freedom, but you can let the whole arm get involved here. And you can feel maybe how we're moving into this twist. All of the movement can have this calm, slow, gentle feel about it. One more time to each side, whether it's shoulder, elbow, or the whole of the arm. And then coming back to neutral. Let's bring our hands up onto the arms and just stroke the arms. Let's get the elbows sort of close to one another as possible. So see how the elbows can be wide or the elbows can be close. And rest the hands onto the arms. Lift the shoulders up to the ears, and then we'll take a <sighs> and drop the shoulders down. Yeah, twice more. <sighs> Once more. <sighs> and let's just bring ourselves into that upper back twist here. So I'm on a swivelly chair, which makes it quite difficult because <laughs> you have to really get heavy in your feet to not move the pelvis but we're just looking to swing the arms from side to side. And this will just rotate the upper back a little bit. And you can bring the hands wherever feels comfortable. You might get them underneath the armpits. So if I sit to the side, you can see this sort of underneath the armpit, that might feel nice. Or you might be just resting them on the shoulders. Find the place that gives you the greater sense of freedom of movement. And then slow it down. And notice how the quality of calmness really, for so many of us, can live in the slowness of things. Not always, but sometimes. Release the arms, let's take them out to the side. Give yourself a little bit of a stretch, roll through the wrists. Get some nice, juicy movements through the wrists. And you could look at the hands, watch them. Rolling the wrists the other way. So we're really inviting even our eyes to come into the into the moment and into this moving body. Then we're going to wrap the other arm on top. So if you can't remember, go the way you would naturally go and then swap the arms over. That's how it is. Let's lift up once. Let's take a big and a drop the shoulders. And then bring in that little swing on this side. Yeah. If you like the lift and the drop, absolutely do it more. Oh, someone's coming in. It's Kaz. I'm just going to let her in. Oh, and just take the swing. Notice the position of the hands. So you might like to slide them down and try them in a different place. Welcome to you, Kaz. Lovely that you've come. Try that little swing from side to side. Nice, and then let's come back to center when you're ready. And we're going to reach the arms comfortable distance out away from the body again. And we might really enjoy or not taking that little squeeze of the shoulder blades back in towards the spine as if we're carrying the arms a comfortable distance behind us. 
And then we're going to take the wrap again and wrap around the body. Breathe in, nice big stretch, opening as much as you want through the front body and then crossing the other arm on top and come and put a cuddle in the rock. And just repeat a few times. You might like to find your humming breath here. Mm. Make this your last one. Mm. And then come back to neutral. Yeah, lovely. And let's just feel now that we've warmed up the wrist, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the wrist. We'll come into the spine a little bit more. So I'm going to sit on the edge of my chair because I've got these side bits. It gives me a little bit more freedom. I'm going to take some comfortable space between the feet. And I'm going to find that side bend that we were doing at the beginning, that shifting of weight, just swaying from one side to the other. So I'm just using my hands because I'm aware the color of my clothing may not be that clear, but you can see how my spine is sort of shifting from one hip, one buttock to the other hip, and then backwards again, just finding that rhythm, that side rhythm. And you might like to really lean into that. You might like to bring your shoulder in. And just find the movement in a way that feels good to you. It doesn't have to look like mine. It might be a lot bigger or a lot smaller. Or you might just be imagining it if you're feeling tired and you just want to be tired. See how much like your spine, like a snake. See how much you can sort of get a little bit of rhythm and rolling from side to side. And then let's imagine this spine that runs through the center of us like a big spoon in the bowl of the pelvis. And let's take the spine through the pelvis. So we're gonna roll forwards with the spine and then come back with the spine. And again, it might be that your movements are much more refined or it may feel that you really wanna come forward close to the legs, it completely is up to you. Let the movement feel good for your body doesn't feel free to revisit one of the ones we've already done and as you move you might like to begin to think about how you can find some space through the body so as you come forward you might like to get that sense of drawing the chest shoulder blades back and opening through the chest and as you move into the back of the pelvis the spine could round and you could feel how you bring the front of the chest towards itself and round through the upper back so you can play with moving the chest through the shoulders and then moving the chest towards the back of the shoulders, towards shoulders coming to chest. Yeah, chest coming to shoulders. Don't worry if this feels a bit unusual. If you're not sure, just begin to find that circling rhythm. Yeah, and then come back to a neutral position, a neutral position. Sitting in our chair, let's just take a few breaths together. So I'm going to take my arms out to the side of the body to wriggle the wrists. Might be nice to give them a little bit of a shake. Find some looseness through the hands, through the shoulders. How loose can you be? Sometimes when we try and be loose, we realize how much we're holding. So it can be really challenging to let that go. Again, don't worry if that's your experience. And we're going to come back to these sounds. I think Jane was mentioning that she liked to make the ah, the ooh, and the mmm. We've already made the mmm sound today. So we're going to take the ah and the ooh. So we're going to First, we'll turn the palms away from the body. We're going to breathe a comfortable height up with the arms so that they meet together. They might be much higher above the head than me. And then they're going to come back down through the midline. And we're just going to repeat that movement, but we're going to use the breath in to carry the arms up above the head. And then we're going to make the sound on the breath out as the hands come down through the body. Now let's start that together with the ah sound, breathing in. Hands meet, 
your own breath, don't worry about matching mine. Ah. Let's take the ooh sound when you're ready. Find your breath, no rush. Ooh. Ooh. And then the mmm sound. Mm. See if you can find the breath to be as slow as it can be. in the center of the chest for a moment and just pausing noticing how it feels in the body returning to that image with that word of calmness feel the feet on the floor the bottom on the chair the hands at the heart you can just invite in an attention and awareness of calmness into the body And when you're ready, take any little movements that might feel good. And then we're going to come and we're going to look at activating the legs a little bit today. So this is going to be different for everybody. I don't want you to worry. You don't have to get out of the chair at all if you don't want to. If you think you might like to, you're now going to be sitting towards the end of the chair. And I'll show you the movement that I'm going to invite you to do. So everyone will be leaning forward. We're going to take the arms out. They may even come out in front of the body and up. They may just stay here. We may take the lean. They may come out in line with the shoulders all the way up. And then if we want, we can lean even further forward and think about pushing through the feet and just seeing if we get a little push and a lift in the bottom. Just see what happens. A little push and a lift. We may just get the push down and we may just not actually get up from the chair and that's fine. And then we rest. We'll move forward a little push and then maybe a release. So that's what we're going to do. So you can sense how that feels, whether it feels like it's too much, and you're just going to work with the arms, or whether you would enjoy trying just to explore that feeling of pushing down through the feet that might lead to a little lift through the pelvis. So feel the feet on the ground. The arms float out comfortable distance in front of you. Feel that the chest is nice and open and lean just a little forward from the hips and feel how already that's requiring a little bit more effort. And either just press through the feet and release the press or press through the feet and see if, as you lean forward if you can find a tiny little lift. A tiny little lift in the bottom. Yeah, just find that rhythm for a moment. One more. And then have a rest. Let the hands come back down. Oh, the shoulders back and down. And I'm going to turn my legs towards the camera again. I'm going to take one last pose before we come and rest, just to give the legs a bit of a stretch. If it's available to you, you're going to step the legs a little bit wider. I'm actually going to turn my right leg. This looks like my left, but it's my right, so I'm not mirroring you. And I'm using my hand to show my foot because I realize it's out of view. <laughs> So I'm going to turn my right toes out to the side. This left leg may like to just stay as it is, toes traveling in the same direction as my hand. Or you might like to slide the leg long so it moves away from the body. Actually, I'll turn my coming down. Yeah, I don't have it yet. So hopefully you can see so I can turn my right leg out. My left leg can stay as it is, or I could slide the heel away making sure the knee and the ankle feel well, and maybe the leg would be long. Maybe, it doesn't have to be, but maybe it would be happy to. So we've got this sense of length through this direction and through this direction on the leg. 
And then let's take that little swaying movement that we've been working on through the body, this little sway from side to side. You can let the hand stay resting on the body, or if there's enough energy, you could let the hand loosely float out to the side of you. You could, as you come forward, drop the hand or the elbow onto the leg, and the top arm could come up, it could reach over, and it could come back, or you could just be swaying the spine, or you could just be here, you could decide to come here, maybe even here. You just see where the body wants to go. And then when you're familiar with this little sway, you can sway back the other way as well, maybe with the arm. So that as we sway the other way, the front arm could do the same or not. And just this little rhythm of coming to one side and coming to the other side. So coming forward. Find that calm rhythm. Take as much time as you want. And then come back to center. Pause. And then using the hands on the legs if you need to bring the legs a little bit close together. And feel sensation around the knees, around the thighs. Feel sensation around the back and into the arms and into the hands. And let's work the other side. So this is my left leg. I'm going to turn my left toes out. My right leg can stay as it is, or I can slide the leg away from the body. So I'm sitting a little bit onto the edge of my chair to allow me to do that. Make sure the knee and the ankle and the hip are comfortable of this on both legs. And then let's start with that little sway. We may just stay here, we may choose to really slow it down, or we might do exactly as I so we might just decide to take it a little bit further using the hands gently on the legs. And as we come forward, the back arm might like to reach up a little bit or even over. And as we come back, the front arm might reach up a little bit or even over. And we're just finding that soothing rhythm movement. And one more time to each side. And then when you feel a sense of evenness, let's come back. Center, use the hands around the legs if you need to, to bring the legs closer together. Just notice how it feels through the legs. You might enjoy to stroke the hands on the legs to rub the knees. Feels. And then we're going to settle in for some relaxation and we're going to use a little bit of sound for that. So you can stay in your chair. You could move your bottom towards the back of the chair, tuck the tailbone, rest the arms and just rest the head and be feet might like to come a little further forward. So there's a sense of a little slump through the body as if you could give up that effort of holding as long as the lower back feels comfortable, you might want to put a little cushion in there for support. You may like to lie on the couch, on the bed or on the ground with something under the head and something under the knees. Maybe something even to hug under the armpits and rest the hands on like a pillow or a cushion. I'm going to come um, much closer to the screen. Take a little sip of water as you settle in. Make yourselves comfortable. And just take a few easy breaths in the body. Easy breath. Maybe that an easy breath for you now is to make a sound. Maybe you like the Maybe you like making the three sounds that we used last week and practiced again today. Uh, maybe you just want to take a sigh or a slow breath.
and get yourself comfortable for a moment. Take time to make sure that you are as comfortable as you can be. And feel now that this is really the pinnacle of all of our practice this morning. Everything has been leading us up to this point, this point where we can let go of effort. And you can let your attention gently follow my voice or you can let go of my voice. You can move if you need to, open or close your eyes if you would like. But feel as much as you can in this moment that the body is as comfortable as it can be. And that you are warm. And that if it's okay to be still, you could let the body be a bit still now too. transitioning into this last part of practice together, how it feels to have moved gently, to have listened to the sound of the body, to have been in relationship with your body in a way maybe quite different to how you normally are, maybe. Know now really that there is nothing demanded of your body. You don't have to create facial expression. The mouth doesn't have to talk. The muscles don't have to hold up the structure. The bones, the muscles, the body can rest. You don't have to do or force the rest. Simply providing the comfort and the support from whatever props you're using and the ground is enough. You can get a sense of your relationship to ground through the supports, things that you're lying on, or through direct contact with the ground. You feel the steadiness of earth. Feel the stillness of earth. And maybe in that still and steady quality, you can also find way to a sense of calmness of earth. There's no rush here as this body rests on the earth. There's nothing to do here as the body rests on the earth. If you would like, you could gently invite that image of calmness to come back into your attention. Maybe a place that you remember or imagine you would feel deeply calm. Be a color. Or the written word calm. Imagine how easy and steady the breath would be when the body and the mind are calm. If you would like, you could gift the body this image of calmness, maybe even this feeling of calmness no matter how small in the body. Just by moving our attention, knowing that we decide where we take that attention. And if we want to move past the place, 
speak. But carrying this quality of steadily and slowly, calmly, and moving it through into the crown of the head, into the eyebrow center, into the base of the throat, across and into the right shoulder now, right elbow, right wrist, palm of the hand, back of the hand, the very tip of the right hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, and little finger as if the whole of the right hand could come alive slowly and gently, feeling the pulse. This feeling moving back through the right wrist, elbow, shoulder, and back to the base of the throat before traveling inside the left shoulder, left elbow, wrist arm of the hand, back of the hand, and the very tip of the left hand thumb, first finger, second finger, third finger, and little finger. The whole of the left hand, arm, quality moving back to the left wrist, elbow, shoulder and the base of the throat and then moving freely into the center of the chest feeling the pulse see it name it maybe even feel it move it down when you're ready into the center of the belly keep feeling it Guiding it down, if you would like, into the center of the pelvis, and keep feeling the pulse. Carrying it with your attention into your right hip, right knee, right ankle, sole of the foot, and the top of the foot, and the very tip of the right big toe. First, second, third toe, little toe, the whole of the right toe, back to the right ankle, knee, hip, to the center of the pelvis, and then into the left hip now, left knee, left ankle sole of the foot and the top of the foot and the very tip of the left big toe, first toe, second toe, third toe and little toe, whole of the left foot. Awareness back to the left ankle, knee and hip. Center of the pelvis if you would like of the belly, center of the chest, base of the throat, the eyebrow center, and the crown of the head. See, feel, and know the whole body now resting in the steady and still earth. The whole body invited into and imagine and maybe feel how easy the breath could be to calm you. If you notice or imagine slowness of breath, 
the lightness of the breath. Imagine and feel an effortless quality of the breath. And imagine that just through your attention alone, you could dial up sensations of calm by just focusing on any place or any experience or image of calmness in your life. When you're ready, slowly and gradually letting that attention settle back into the body and how it's being supported in this place here and now by the ground, by the props, just noticing how you feel and then slowly and gradually just coming back around, taking your time. Coming back around, stretching and wriggling, fussing and opening, closing the eyes, maybe moving the tongue in the mouth, stretching and yawning. And, oh, come back fully present into the here and now. Take in the light. Ooh, roll and rock. Give yourself a nice big cuddle if it feels good. Well done for making practice this morning. Celebrate the fact that you showed up. You took part however you could and that you made this time and this space to be with yourself, to be with your body. Thank you so much for coming.